okay so let's talk about the second problem of the bi-weekly contest 7 8 number of ways to split the array okay so we are given a zero indexed integer array nums of length n and uh, we are going to find out the total number of valid splits in the given array so let's find out what is the definition of a valid split a valid split uh, is an index i like uh, we need to find, a, uh, find an index i if the following conditions are true the sum of first i plus 1 elements is greater than or equal to the sum of the last n minus i minus 1 elements and there is at least one element to the right of i uh, that is uh, i must belong to 0 to uh, less than n minus 1 that is n minus 1 is not included we need to find the number of indices i in the range 0 to n minus 2 both inclusive such that the sum of first i plus 1 elements must be greater than or equal to note that this is important greater than or equal to the sum of last n minus i minus 1 elements okay then we need to report the number of such indices i note that we are going to report the count and max length of the array goes up to 10 raised to the power 5 and the values in this array goes from minus 10 raised to the power 5 to 10 raised to the power 5 okay so for every index you need to perform the operation in o of 1 time that is we you need to check whether the left part has the same sum as the right part okay so for this you need to pre-calculate the entire sum of the array i will tell you how we are going to do that so first let's understand the problem with the help of example okay so suppose we have been given the array as 10 okay so let me first change the color 10 4 minus 8 and 7 okay so we need you need to report the number of indices i such that uh, the sum of first i plus 1 elements must be equal to the rest of the elements like greater than or equal to the elements that are present in the right side so suppose we are at this index so you need to find out the sum of for this one let it be s1 and you need to find the sum that is present over this one now if s1 is greater than or equal to s2 you are going to increment our answer by 1 okay now similarly you are going to check out for every index like uh, let it be this one and this one let it be p1 and let it be p2 if you are going to check if p1 is going to be greater than or equal to p2 you are going to increment answer by 1 and if it is not you are going to uh, like your answer remains as it is similarly the third one is going to be something like this that is you need to check out for these three numbers let it be let's call it as x1 x1 is greater than or equal to x2 you are going to increment answer by 1 note that we are not going to uh, look out for the next index because there must be at least one element in the right side right part right that is in the x2 part or p2 or s2 you can say now for every index you need to check the criteria whether the sum of the left part is going to be greater than or equal to the sum of right part in o of one time how we are going to do that in uh, in that case you need to find out the sum of the entire array first of all that would take a linear time o of n time now whenever you are at a certain index uh, you must have to pre-calculate the prefix sum up to this current position so let's say you are have you have the value of prefix of i which is the sum of the first i plus one elements of the array right then if you have the sum of the entire array then this is actually the left part and for the right part you will easily calculate sum minus prefix of i so this will be the right part okay and you, you are going to check if prefix of i is greater than or equal to sum of minus prefix of i that is left part must be greater than or equal to right part then only you are going to increment your answer by 1 okay so you can do uh, like you can find out the prefix sum at every index with a single variable also since you are iterating in this array 
from left side to right side you will keep track of variable called prefix sum and each time you are going to uh, increment your this variable value of this variable by the current array like current, current by the current array value that is prefix sum plus equal to array of i and when you are at this current index you have this prefix sum and you have this sum of the entire array then you will check if prefix sum at the current position is greater than or equal to sum minus prefix sum if that holds you are going to increment your answer by 1 ok so let's look out how we are going to implement that efficiently ok so first I will find out the entire sum of this array so let I am going to store it in write sum variable like I am going to use accumulate function as HTL in C++ and my left sum will be initialized with 0 and answer will be initialized with 0 note that uh, I am going to take a long long integer data type because sum is going to exceed the int max value I guess ok so I will iterate from i equal to 0 until i plus 1 is less than the length of the array and uh, I will decrement the write sum value uh, like uh, you need to keep track of left sum as well as right sum also so for the current uh, position every time I will decrement the right sum with the current value so at each step of uh, iteration at each index every time we have the left sum which will, which will be always an increasing value like we are always adding something and the added integer may be negative also it may decrease the value of left sum but uh, each time we are going to add the nums of i that is the current array value to the left sum and decrement the current array value uh, from the right sum that is right sum minus equal to the array of i and our answer will be incremented if left sum is going to be greater than equal to right sum so at each step of index we have this sum some prefix sum up to the current index and the suffix sum uh, up to the index i plus 1 that is uh, from i plus 1 to the end of the array we have that sum in the right sum variable and finally we will return the answer that will be the number of indices i such that the left sum is going to be greater than equal to right sum ok note that this entire operation is uh, going to be completed in a linear time o of one time a constant time o of one time ok and uh, the time complexity of the solution is O of n because we are iterating the array at most two times and the space complexity is O of 1 so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video